Well, a traffic alert to pass along tonight. People who live along one St. Joseph County Road say that they are fed up. Less than three months after the opening of the new U.S. 31 through St. Joseph and Marshall counties, neighbors say traffic on some of the side roads is faster and heavier. WSBT 22's Kelly Sobzinski is looking into, uh, into this for us tonight. And Kelly, you rode along with police to see just how fast people are going. Jennifer, St. Joseph County police say the road is, in fact, more dangerous than it was three months ago. But there's only so much they can do to slow it down. It's been worse, much worse. Marilyn Whaley's lived along Kern Road east of US 31 25 years. I think there's a lot of people avoiding 31 for the same reason I'm trying to avoid 31, and so they come down Kern. Her main concern about what's changed since Kern became an on ramp and exit ramp for the new 31 in August? The speed. We wanted to know just how fast drivers are taking this two-lane road with a posted speed limit of 30 miles per hour. That's a little faster than I would be going. And that's a big truck. We rode along with St. Joseph County Police Assistant Chief Bill Thompson. Because it's a 30, uh, you were at 49. He found lots of people. They had your radar as high as 46 coming down Kern Road. Going 15 to 20 miles per hour above the limit. It's just ridiculous. Scott Marchbank says he knows why this road is busier, and he doesn't like it. It's always been brisk, but since the new bypass opened, everybody uses this for a cut through now. There's a lot more traffic being forced on some of these side roads, and like I said, no sidewalks, two lanes. They're uh, they're they're carrying a, a heavier load. And they're they're carrying it at higher speeds. Chief Thompson points to what happened here last week when a car hit this eight-year-old boy as he tried to cross Kern, getting off the school bus. The bus's lights were on and its stop arm out. But neighbors say they wish someone could do more. Once I put a car out, it slows them down. We saw that today. Yeah, it slows them down. Then all of a sudden, they know he's gone. Boom, they're right back flying again. INDOT says traffic is still adjusting to changes since the new 31 opened. When the Johnson Road Bridge over US 31 opens next year, early next year, INDOT says it should draw more traffic away from Kern. INDOT spokesman Will Wingfield says the idea behind the new US 31 is to improve safety by rerouting heavy highway traffic away from the old US 31 stoplight at Kern Road. Drivers need to take responsibility for following the speed limit and ask themselves, would I want someone driving this fast in front of my house? Rick, Jennifer?